Hi guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Ima Lipucirahayu. I would like to share about narrative text and I have a title The Legend of Singaraja. Singaraja is one of the kingdom in Bali. So, I will start it. Sri Sakening was a king of Kulungkung Bali. He had a lot of wives and his last wife was Niloh Pase. Niloh Pase was the most beautiful wife and that made the other world jealous. They often told a bad thing to the king about Niloh Pase. And that's why the king sadly was influenced and he asked Niloh Pase to leave the palace. Niloh Pase was very sad and but she had no other choice. She became very sad when she knew that she was pregnant. Finally, she left the palace and arrived at a village. In the village, an old man felt very sorry about her condition. And uh, his name is Jelantik Bokul. And Jelantik Bokul was a holy man and he had a supernatural power. And finally, the Jelantik Bokul married Niloh Pase. And when the baby was born, uh, Jelantik Bokul gives the name as Igusti Gede. He loved the baby like his own son. And then Igusti Gede grew up a strong man. He also mastered a lot of skills such as martial art and supernatural power. His stepfather taught him the skills. And one day, his stepfather asked him to go to the jungle in Den Hill. That the place uh, that Niloh Pase was born. Uh, his stepfather asked him to go to that just to get more supernatural power. And the before he left, his stepfather gave him two weapons. It's a spread and a caress. It's a wavy bladed teacher weapons. And Ikustikiti did it. Finally, he went to the Den Hill and meditated. While he was meditating, the spirit of the jungle came to him, and the spirit spoke to him, You will be a great king. Go to the Panubangan beach and help people on there. And then, Ikusti Gede continued his journey to the Panubangan beach. When he arrived, there was an incident. There was a ship from Bukis uh, that sinking shink, ship at the sea. People tried to help but they didn't succeed. So Igusti Gede wanted to help. He asked the people to stay away from the ship and he prayed and took out his weapons. The spirit came out of the weapons and he asked the weapons to pull out the ship from the sea and then slowly the spirit pulled up the ship back to the sea and the owner was very happy and he gave his some wealth to Ikustikiti and Ikustikiti uh, started to build some village so he went back to the tent hill and built a village People came one by one, and finally the village became a kingdom, and Ikustikiti named it as Sukasate Kingdom. And then he tried to build another kingdom. <clears throat> it full of buleleng trees. So the Ikustikiti named it as Buleleng Kingdom. And then. He planned to make the Kuit Kingdom. Uh, people named it Singa Raja. Singa means lion and Raja means king. With his power, Igusti Gede was just like a lion. With his power, he protected his people from bad people. And with his power too, he always uh, being a good king and make the people on there were safe and prosperous. Okay, 
that's all of my narrative text about Singaraja Kingdom. And thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.